what are all the important things that you'll have to do uh, once you come in the UK. You might not like the house. card, which is biometric. In residence initial form. days, you'll be able to manage using your Indian SIM card. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope everyone is doing great. In case you're new here, then hi there, this is Serena. So today we will be talking about uh, all those important things that you'll have to do once you are in the UK. Uh, now when you're getting up to move to the UK from India, there's a lot of excitement about moving to new places, uh, you know, experiencing new things, new learnings, but also uh, you will have a lot of anxiety about moving to a new country. Uh, how would you transition from India to the UK? And a lot of things run in your head. I personally went through all of this. Uh, so I just wanted to make a video so that I can share what are all the important things that you'll have to do uh, once you come to the UK for a smooth transition. So the first and the most important thing that you'll have to do while moving to the UK is searching for a house. Now what I would suggest is while you are in here and you're searching for a house, Search for a short term tenancy, maybe maximum two or three months. Why I would recommend this is that once you are in the UK, you might not like the house. You might prefer, you know, other houses or you might prefer other locations. So, so it's always better to take short term tenancies. Now, what you can do is you can, you know, search on Facebook marketplace. Uh, you can look on different websites uh, for short term tenancies and you can also contact people on Facebook who offer tenancy. Once you come here, you can search for a house, uh, you know, which is closer to your local transport, which helps you commute to different places. The second important thing that you'll have to do once you are in the UK is collecting your BRP card, which is biometric residence permit. Now, what is a BRP card? Usually you get 90 days of visa uh, with your passport. And after that, you will have to collect your BRP card, which acts as a visa while you are in the UK. Uh, now, when you receive your visa, uh, when you are in India, you also receive a visa decision letter. And that visa decision letter will have the address to which your BRP is shipped. Usually, it's your nearest you know, post office. So, you can go to your nearest post office with your passport as an ID proof and collect your BRP. It's the most important thing, guys. So, do it as soon as you arrive in the UK. Also, once you receive your BRP, I would suggest that you don't carry it wherever you go because it's very risky to lose your BRP. So it's always better that you keep it at home. You can just click a picture or scan it on your phone and keep it. Now that you have your house and you also collected your BRP, the next important thing is to get your NI number. Now, if you are on a skilled worker visa, then your NI number will already be on your BRP. But if you're coming as a dependent or if you are a student here, then you would need a work permit uh, proof uh, to apply for jobs. So unless you have your NI number, you won't be able to apply for jobs. Now, there are two ways to get the NI number. One is you go to the nearest post office and apply for an NI number. The other way is applying it online. It's pretty easy to apply it online and you will receive your NI number via post to your address. Uh, I think it takes around 15 days. I'm really not sure. Uh, but I think it should take 15 days and you'll have your NI number. Now, even before getting your bank account, you will have to get your SIM card. That's very important. Uh, in the initial days, you'll be able to manage using your Indian SIM card because you'll you know, connect your phone mostly to Wi-Fi. But while getting things like bank account, it's really important that you have a SIM card. So usually, uh, while you are applying for your visa, you'll be given SIM cards free at uh, uh, you know, the visa office. But in case you haven't taken that SIM card, you can come here and, you know, get a new SIM card. Uh, now, if you're a student, you get a lot of free SIM cards. Uh, but if you're not a student and you're working professionally, you can get a SIM card at the nearest store. There are a lot of networks here that provide SIM cards. Uh, there are two ways. One is a prepaid and one is a postpaid. What I would suggest is in the initial days, go for a prepaid SIM, check for networks, uh, the coverage in your, in your area as well. Now, once you do that, when you are sure about the network, then you can go ahead and switch it to a postpaid SIM. Uh, I've made a video previously talking a lot about the prepaid and postpaid cards. If you haven't watched that video, then please do check it out. I'll add the link in the description.
Now, the next important thing that you'll have to get is your bank account. Uh, so there are a lot of online bank accounts that you can open nowadays. Uh, so one example is Monzo. Uh, it gives you a lot of discounts. There's a lot of perks to these accounts. Uh, the other banks like Lloyd's, Barclays, uh, HSBC, you can directly go and apply uh, physically as well. But it's always better to do it online. I mean, I prefer doing it online because it's easier. Uh, it will ask you for proof of documents like your BRP and your passport. So this will get done within one or two days. You will receive a confirmation uh, in a post as well. Now, in case there's any problem while uploading your documents or uh, they are not okay with the documents that you've scanned, you will receive an email asking, uh, you know, you to come down to the nearest uh, branch. You can go and then show your documents and your bank account will be open. So opening a bank account here is really... Now, while applying for your visa, you've al already paid your IHS fees, which is around 70,000 a year, which is a lot of money. Now, you know, now that you've paid so much, why not also use the medical services? It's really important to register yourself with a general physician, which is a GP over here. The medical services uh, that are in the UK are very different. Uh, now, in India, what we used to do is we used to just walk into a hospital when we are sick or we used to get an instant appointment when we were there. But here it works completely different. Even when you, you know, you are down with fever or you have cold, you still have to contact the GP first and ask for an appointment. And without contacting or consulting your GP, you will not be able to visit a doctor. So it's really important to get registered with a general physician. You can do this online again. I have done mine online. So what you can do is you can just search for, you know, general physicians near you and uh, just type register with a GP online and they will give you a list of all the GPs available in your location uh, Select the one that's nearest to, uh, to your location. That is I would suggest because uh, You know, it's easier to go to a GP in case of emergencies uh, So please do that So yeah, that's it for today guys uh, These are all the important things that you'll have to do in the UK and you'll be done with all of this in the first month uh, You know once you are here. Yeah for the rent uh, you know it might take a little longer to find a house but all the other things should be done uh, within 15 to 30 days once you are here uh, this was a little information video i hope i didn't bore you much so yeah that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video in case you did then please do hit the like button share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel if you watched my previous videos then thank you so much for believing in us if you're new here then please do consider subscribing i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye